Like a lot of people who are into cameras and filmmaking, my journey actually started with music. Back in high school, I got really interested in music and guitar. I mean, I've always been interested in it, but high school is where I found a group of friends who were also into music the way that I was. I had friends who played guitar and that really fueled my passion and drive to want to learn how to play a musical instrument. So I picked that up. But then I also had friends who listened to hip hop and rap and the kind of music that I listened to growing up in my own house. And so I had this wonderful blend of two essentially worlds of music that I really found a deep passion for music. This passion led me on several different paths. The first was I actually learned how to play guitar. And if you go all the way back to the very beginning of this YouTube channel, a lot of those early videos are me playing guitar, learning how to play guitar, covering songs with a guitar. It became a real passion of mine and I still love playing guitar to this day. The other path that it took me down was I wanted to record myself and so I got really into cameras. Back then I didn't have a lot of money and all my money that I did have was spent on music equipment instead of camera equipment. So I actually collected a lot of recording equipment. I learned how to record myself and then other people with that recording equipment. And for a brief period of time, I convinced my parents to open a portion of our home to the neighborhood kids who wanted to record music. And for a while, I was kind of like a bootleg record producer. Kids would come to my house, uh, they would pay me a little bit of money, and I would use all of my equipment, my microphone, my computer, my speakers. I had a beat pad and a keyboard thing. I had all of the equipment to help make music. And I had an amp and an electric guitar and an acoustic guitar. I had all of the things to help people create music. And so for a while, that was my life. And I honestly thought that that was where I was gonna go until the camera stuff started picking up. And that's where a lot of things changed for me. Once I learned how to do more camera related things, it became more clear and apparent to me that this was a way to make more money. And even though I still love music so much, I really put it to the side in order to pursue this camera thing and this camera idea and hobby. And that's lasted for a really long time. But there's something that keeps coming back to me. And that is my love of music and really the music industry as a whole. I grew up in Louisiana and in Louisiana, there's hurricanes. And whenever hurricanes would come, the power would go out for a couple days and you know, you'd have to deal with those things. But during those periods of time, there's one thing that I vividly remember. And that is every single time the power went out, I pretended that I was a radio host. I pretended that I was a DJ on the radio talking about music, playing music, making mix CDs, making mixtapes. That was a really big part of my childhood and even into adolescence. I made mixtapes and mix CDs for my friends. I played them in my car. It was just a way of life. And now that I haven't made it, with this camera stuff, I'm still very much learning. But now that things are a little more established, I find myself making content about cameras, which is fun. And I really enjoy making content about cameras, but I want to make content for creators to show them how to make content. And I think it's so easy to fall into the trap of, well, I'll just make content about cameras because people are always gonna search about cameras. But this is, where my, this is where my idea is. Instead of making all of my content about cameras and how to be a creator in that sense, I'm going to bring you along the journey of essentially making content about music. This way, I'm able to show you how to make content for an industry that's not related to cameras. Quite meta, a little bit more work on my end, but I think it would be extremely helpful to show people the journey of something that I really love and that I'm passionate about 
and showing people how to make content about it, showing you guys how to make content about it, I think it would be interesting and helpful. And it's a way for me to utilize all the skills and the things that I'm telling you about and it not be related to cameras. Now, before you click off this video, I'm not changing the content of this channel. This channel will still very much be with the intent of documenting my creator journey and helping creators, whether that's learning camera related things or learning tools and things that will help you. But I think showing you the process of how to go about becoming an actual creator in an industry that's not cameras will be extremely helpful to people who want to become a creator in an industry that's not related to cameras. See what I mean? I'll admit I do have a bit of a cheat code because I have a lot of camera gear and equipment, but the main point of documenting this journey is to show you everything that you need to do in order to successfully launch a creator account channel and make content. So with the start of this series, I'm not just going to make an intro video. That's why this video is longer than just a normal intro video for things like this. I'm actually going to go through the process. And so the first thing that we're going to do is come up with the idea. The first thing I'm going to do is decide the purpose. And so I actually really enjoy whenever I'm coming up with ideas like this is to write them in a notebook. So I have this green notebook. This is where I keep a lot of important ideas. And so the first thing I'm going to do is actually come up with the purpose of the channel or the purpose of this platform. Purpose will be to share my thoughts on music, share music with others, and expand knowledge uh, really for conversation and connecting with a community. Use my poor handwriting, but I think that narrowing in on your purpose before you even launch anything is extremely important. Knowing these things will help hold me to the content that I want to make. It'll actually help fuel my ideas when, when I start to run out of ideas for content. So if I can understand and keep in the back of my mind that the main point, the main purpose of this new thing, this new project is to share my thoughts on music. That's very easy. Anytime a song or an album comes out, I can just talk about it. Share music with others. This is something that I love to do anyway in my personal life is if I hear a new song or an old song or something that's just really vibing and it, and it, it evokes an emotion out of me, I want to go share that with other people. And this will give me a place to do that. And then expanding my knowledge for conversation and connecting with a community. Music brings so many different groups of people together. It brings so many walks of life together and it connects so many people around the world. And I really love that about music. It's one of the reasons that I really enjoy different types of music is that I'm allowed to, one, I'm allowed to listen to whatever I want and I can connect with people based on musical preference, based on musical interests. And it, it allows me to expand my network and just have conversations with people. Keeping these three goals in mind is extremely important to me and I think it'll be beneficial whenever I'm creating this content. Now that we know why we're making content and we have the basis for a lot of our ideas, the next step in this process is going to be creating the platform. And so one of the things that I highly recommend is that if you have no idea where you want to post things is to pick one platform and then expand from there. So I do not foresee myself making a lot of long form videos right now. I'm extremely focused on this YouTube channel this year. So I think Instagram is going to be a great place, but I do not want to use my current Instagram account because that is more related to this. So what I'm actually going to do is revive an old Instagram account and transform it. So there's pros and cons to doing this. The pros is that it comes with a built in audience and that audience is mainly family members. I do technically have a personal Instagram account. I never use it. I haven't used it in, I use it like once a year, 
And it's not even for like something special or unique. It's really just a random post every year. So I think reviving that old account will do a couple of things. One, it'll give my friends and family who are still following that account insight into my life and the things that I'm doing, or at least the music that I'm listening to and the things that I wanna talk about there. But it also comes with, like I said, a built-in audience. And so there's already people who follow that account. So I'm not starting over from scratch. I don't have to come up with a new email. I don't have to come up with a lot of new things. The only thing that I am going to do is take a new picture for the profile and I am gonna change the username. So let's do those things right now. It's the next day. Basically, I spent yesterday taking a couple self-portraits, working on my Instagram bio, and I filmed a couple of videos, but I decided to film a different video today based on the events of yesterday. There were a lot of happenings in the hip hop music industry that I felt I needed to speak on a little bit. So I filmed a quick video for that and that'll be going up very shortly. The next thing in this process is really to have a profile photo, edited my bio, the account is already created and like I said, I'm using an older account that has been kind of inactive. I'm just gonna revive that and then I've recorded some content. And so now the next step in this process is to just go. It's time to edit the videos, it's time to put together some captions and it's time to start putting some content out. And that is the very next thing in this process. And the next step is really to start planning some content and making sure that I can remain consistent. And so the way that we're gonna do that is to put a system in place where I'm recording content on certain days, editing on other days, and then scheduling those posts out. So hopefully this was useful to someone who wants to learn a little bit how to create content that's not about cameras. Uh, you know, if you're interested in a specific niche that's not related to cameras, but you wanted to learn how to create content from someone who does work with cameras and does this for clients, hopefully I've been able to provide a little bit of help and inspiration for you. And if you like this type of content, stick around. I would love a subscribe or a comment down below if you have questions. And I will continue to put out content that is in support of and helps people who are on their creator journey. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Larry G. Until next time, do the work, believe in yourself, and keep creating. Peace.